Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us for uh, worship for Sunday, December 27th, the first Sunday of Christmas. We're glad you're with us. Today we're doing a service of lessons and carols, uh, familiar uh, scripture stories um, combined with familiar hymns. So uh, welcome and thank you for joining us. We'll begin with singing, O Come All Ye Faithful. Number 283, we'll do the first two verses. O come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come, ye, O come, ye, to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. O come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. The highest, most holy, light of light eternal, born of a virgin, a mortal he comes. appearing. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have filled us with the new light of the Word who became flesh and lived among us. Let the light of our faith shine in all that we do. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our first lesson comes from Luke chapter 1, uh, the Annunciation uh, to Mary, where the angel announces to Mary she is to bear a child, um, and then follows with Mary's response, Mary's song. And we're going to read that lesson today um, by singing it from Holden Evening Prayer. We'll sing um, the Annunciation and the Magnificat um, from Holden Evening Prayer, since the words from that come straight from that reading in the Gospel of Luke. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the Chosen One of God Most High. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One. Strong is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lowly one, humbling the proud of heart. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the hungry with wondrous things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one. Strong is your justice, strong your love. As you promised to Sarah and Abraham, kindness forevermore. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my 
my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Our second lesson is from the Gospel of Luke, the second chapter. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room in the inn. The next hymn is O Little Town of Bethlehem. Uh, which is recorded uh, by the Anderson family. Our next reading is a continuation of Luke chapter 2. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Our next carol this morning will be Hark the Herald Angels Sing, um, a piano version recorded by uh, one of our confirmation students, Olivia McBroom.
Our next reading is the story of the wise men from Matthew chapter 2. And I'm, re- I'm going to read it to you from uh, the Spark Story Bible. Uh, you can find it beginning on page 218. On a cool, clear evening, three wise men looked into the night sky and saw a bright star. The wise men had been waiting for someone important to come into the world. They were waiting for a king. They knew that the star was a sign from God. The star is a sign that the king has been born, the shortest one said. We should follow the star and find him, the tallest one said. I'll pack our bags, the middle one said. They left their homes and traveled far to meet this new baby king. They wanted to worship him and give him gifts. Along the way, they stopped and visited King Herod, the ruler of that land. We are following the star to find the baby king, they told King Herod. Do you know where he is? When King Herod heard that the baby king had been born, he was afraid. He thought the baby would grow up and take over. Then Herod wouldn't be the king anymore. So King Herod spoke to the wise men. He pretended to be nice. Herod told the wise men, I would like to meet the new baby king. Why don't you go and find him and come back here and tell me where he is? Then I can go and worship him too. Here's King Herod up in his palace. He looks really angry. The wise men kept following the star to find the baby They finally found Jesus, Mary, and Joseph in Bethlehem. They were quiet, so they wouldn't wake the baby Jesus. They knelt beside his bed. He was so tiny. They kissed his little cheek. Sleep well, little one, they said. And they left him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Now, those were very expensive gifts. They were gifts fit for a king. Later, the wise men decided it was time to go home. They were planning to tell King Herod where they found the baby Jesus, but God sent an angel to talk to them in a dream, and the angel told them that King Herod was dangerous, so they went home a different way instead. Jesus was indeed a new baby king who surprised the wise men and frightened King Herod. Jesus was God's promise born for us, a gift to all people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our next song is the first Noel, number 300, and we'll sing the first two verses. The first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay. We continue with the reading from John chapter 1, where John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning beginning was was the the Word, and the the Word word was was with God, God, and the the Word word was God. God. 
The Word was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. In the Word was life, and that life was the light of all humankind. The light shines, shines in, the darkness, in the darkness, and the, and the darkness, darkness did not, not overcome, overcome it. it. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of the flesh or the will of man, but of God. And the word, the word became, became flesh and, and lived among, among us, and, and we, we have, have seen his glory, the glory as, as of a father's, father's only son, full of grace and truth. We'll sing our next hymn of the Father's love begotten, number 295. Of the Father's love begotten, ere the worlds began to be, He is Alpha and Omega, He the source, the ending He. Of the things that are that have been, and that future years shall see, evermore and evermore. Oh, that birth forever blessed, when the virgin full of grace, by the Holy Ghost conceiving, for the Savior of our race. And the babe, the world's redeemer, first revealed his sacred face, evermore and evermore. For our prayers of the church will begin and end with a short tune to this tune of Silent Night. God, we pray. God, we pray. Hear us now as we say sorry, thank you, please, and praise. Be Night and day, all creation praises you, O God. Strengthen your church across nations, denominations, and traditions. Fill us with wisdom and unite us in proclaiming your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All creation is holy to you, O God. You cause the earth to bring forth its shoots and gardens to spring up. Protect hibernating animals and frozen lands that wait for days of awakening and growth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The nations are upheld by your hand, O God. Cause righteousness and praise to spring forth, inspiring leaders to serve with compassion and integrity. Send your spirit of discernment upon legislators, grappling with complex decisions for the sake of the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Send the spirit of your Son into our hearts, O God. Come quickly to hearts that race with fear, hearts that break with grief, and hearts that long for wholeness. Grant healing and peace to all in need. Today we pray especially for Tim, Erica, Lonnie, Darlene, Jack, Tom, Randy, Deborah, Beverly, 
Betty, Dick, Don, Ione, Donnie, and David. And we pray for those whose names we lift before you now. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Adopt us into your family, O God. Bless our elders with peace and joy of Simeon and Anna. Strengthen those who have retired, those who work in older age and those in need of income, food or company or health care. Connect young and old across generations. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, we pray, God, we pray, hear us now as we say, sorry, thank you, please, and praise, be near, hear us all of our days. Jesus, hear our prayer. Jesus, hear our prayer. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us share that peace with one another in any way you can, from your home, whether it be by phone or texting or uh, it's never too late to send a Christmas card. So uh, Christmas goes all the way through yeah, January well, 6th. I, that was in the announcements. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we uh, <clears throat> encourage you to share that peace, the peace of Christmas, the peace that is ours all year round. For announcements, uh, we will be continuing to have parking lot worship only in the at least until further notice. We'll be reevaluating mid-month in January to see the, where the pandemic is. So just parking lot worship. We, uh, we will continue recording as well. Yes, of course. Just to be clear. Yes. Um, and as we just mentioned, uh, it is still Christmas. This is the first Sunday in Christmas. And so we encourage you to, to find ways to celebrate the 12 days of Christmas. You'll be getting a newsletter that uh, gives you some ideas on how to move into Epiphany as well. So let us indeed celebrate the fullness of Christmas. And thank you all for how you uh, participated in Christmas Eve worship and Christmas Day worship. Uh, thank you for all the ways in which you contribute to the ministry as we come to the close of this, uh, this year. Uh, we thank you for your financial generosity as well and pray that uh, you would uh, find real joy in the giving of those gifts, just as the wise men, uh, the three kings, had the joy of presenting gifts to the Christ child. So let us pray. God of all creation, all you have made is good and your love endures forever. You bring forth bread from the earth and fruit from the vine. We thank you that you have blessed us with ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Help us now in the midst of this Christmas season to move into the new year filled with your generosity, with the gift of your Son, Jesus, so that we may indeed feed the world with your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now may you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the magi, and the peace of the Christ child. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our sending song this morning, this whatever time of day you're watching, <laughs> um, is Joy to the World, number 267. We'll do the first two verses. 
Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let all their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. Go in peace and joy. Thanks be to God.